out of everybody that makes videos about DTF printers on YouTube, I am probably the influencer or the person making videos that's had the most variety of different printers. I've had two A3 Plus R's, I've had two R2 Pros, I've had the DTF 1000 by Uninet, and I've and I now and I have the uh, Revel 2402C. Who do you watch on on YouTube that's had that's had more DTF printers than me? I wait. So out of everybody that you watch, I think that you need to be taking my advice. Setting up my R2 Pro right now to print up a short run. I am on the other side of the um, the good experience um, side now. I'm on a good experience side now with the R2. First it started off a little rocky, but now things are going smooth and I could not be more excited because I have been running this thing like crazy from morning to night yesterday, running it like crazy. And it is a set it and forget it. As long as you have this, perfectly aligned with the printer part it just goes and goes and goes and the good thing about it is if you have like a large amount of orders different orders of all kinds you can send them all to print in the queue and they'll like you can send them at different times and no matter how many they are yesterday I won't say no matter how many but yesterday I had about 40 of them queued up about 40 different sends about 40 different prints and some of them were like one, some of them were like 16, another set was like four, different size and stuff, 16, um, uh, eight, different sizes. Sent about 40 of them. Walked away, they all printed out. So um, with no issues at all. So I'm hoping that this keeps on going and I am keep on having these positive experiences, but let me set this thing up and let's get these prints going. So for those who really didn't know what was going on. Let's talk about it a little bit. This is the Prestige R2 Pro DTF printer. And first I'm gonna talk about my experience with the Prestige R2 Pro DTF printer. All I have to say is that, all I have to say is that normally when I get equipment, everything goes great. I have a wonderful experience and people are always puzzled because it seems like some people have a bad experience, but I'm always the one having a great experience and everything is always going good for me when it comes to equipment and stuff like that. But even, even with the um, A3 Plus R, everything was going great with me and people were having a little hiccups here and there, but some people were having good, good, a good time. Now it seems like I'm on the other end of the stick, right? Everybody's printing with their R2 Pro and I'm not, all right? So I haven't had the smoothest time with this specific machine initially when I got my first one. This is my second R2 Pro, guys, my second R2 Pro. And the first one, initially it worked and I don't know what happened, something with the software. I have no clue what happened. I didn't do anything. Um, to break it or anything. I didn't, I didn't print with it too much. I don't, I have no idea what happened. I just came back one day and it just wasn't working anymore. Um, as a matter of fact, they have my R2 Pro right now when I shipped it back and, and, and they're trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And they said they, they, they can't figure it out. So anyway, we got this one now. This one is working great. I'm excited about it. And that just goes to show you sometimes even the influencer or even a person with the most experience has a bad experience with a piece of equipment. But like I always say, anything worth having is worth fighting for and worth figuring out. And that's exactly what I had to do with this thing. I had to figure it out, guys. Hold on, let me take this car real fast. He's gonna go with the, um, what is it, the 120? Okay. To, to um, Digitize? Yeah, the whole so leg. So, so, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send you this question to you. I'm gonna no, ship no, it to no, you. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know how to do the pants. I don't That's know how to do that. that. That pants. Let me tell you something about that. That that is something that's going to have to be, you're probably going to have to deconstruct that whole pants leg and sew it back together. Does it have a seam in the oh. middle? Sorry about that, guys. Client got to digitize the logo for her. Um, anyway, 
where were we? Oh yeah, so at first it was working, then it stopped working for no apparent reason. I have no idea why it stopped working. We trouble shot for a while, back and forth on the phone, sometimes even half the day, um, maybe like half the day for like four, on four different occasions. Never got it to work. Finally they agreed, ship it back, we're just gonna replace it. Shipped it back, got the replacement, been up and running since. Didn't make any videos initially when I first got it because I wanted to put it through its paces a little bit, but now I've had it for a little while. Um, some of you guys that follow me on Instagram knows exactly when I got it. <sighs> One second. Close the window, not sure how much that helped because I can still hear, but don't think it's probably as strong on the uh, video. Guys, it's part of, part of the having a shop in the hood. Part, part of having a shop in the hood is it's always something adventurous going on outside or around the shop or something. People walking by, blasting their sound system in the car. Anyway, guys, so um, ever since I've had it now, it has been working fine. And the nightmare and the saga continues on because the Revel 2402T this video is not about that, but the other DTF printer is um, going to be supposedly supposed to be functioning on Friday. Um, somebody's supposed to be coming back out, coming out right now, to, coming out on Friday to fix it. So we'll have both of them functional. So the reason why I want to tell you guys this, if you plan on having a DTF business and you want your business to be solely based on producing DTFs, if your livelihood is going to depend on your DTF printer functioning, if that's the primary source of, is that, if that's going to be the primary source of your income, if that's going to be how you pay your bills, if that's going to be how you eat your food, if that's going to be how you pay your mortgage or pay your rent or pay your car note, you have to have more than one DTF printer. In this instance, I had two DTF printers and both of them were down. So that just goes to show you. Let me reiterate that. If this is going to be your primary source of income and you want to start a DTF business, you have to have more than one printer and you have to dedicate yourself to almost becoming a technician so you can troubleshoot these things so that in the event that something goes wrong, when something goes wrong, you kind of know how to fix it, all right? I don't want to set you guys up for failure. I don't want to see you guys in the same situation that I was because I have other machines. My other machines were booming. Business was starting to pick up like crazy embroidery-wise. Then the DTF printer came in. Not the smaller ones, because I've had the smaller ones before, but the big boy came in. That thing just took over the business like Crazy. It happened overnight. It just took over the business. Boom. Orders starting to come out everywhere. Um, people knew I had it. They're like, okay, you can knock my stuff out easy. Boom. I'm sending you my order. I'm sending you my order. Send me order. Then it went down. Then it went down. Oh my gosh. You know what else went down with the DTF printer? <laughs> my, my income stream. All right. So then I had to double back and I thought it was going to be up and running real fast. I thought it was just a matter of a little few slight changes, but no, it wasn't. So then I had to double back and try to, boom, build my embroidery business back up, which I've done now. But now that I've done that, the key to life, you guys have heard this on social media, the key to life is diversity, guys. The key to being successful, the key to not falling flat on your feet is diversity. So... When you have your embroidery and print shop or whatever it is that you do, make sure you have something else on the side. If you, if you primarily just do embroidery, that's fine. You better have more than one embroidery machine. Embroidery machines don't go down as often. They're more reliable in my opinion. So if, if a perfect pair for an embroidery machine would be the iColor 650 in my opinion, a white toner transfer printer. That would be a perfect combo for the um, embroidery, a perfect complement, right? because you can do so much with that thing. You can do signed decals, you can do cards, you can do wedding napkins, you can do wedding invitations, you can do Mylar balloons, you can do temporary tattoos, you can do, um, you can do so many things with the white toner transfer printer. You can do cups, you can do sublimation once you start to change out the, the sublimation cartridges. You can do so much with the white toner transfer printer. So that would be a perfect combo um, to supplement your income and to build that business with, uh, um, with uh, embroidery uh, 
machines or whatever. So um, just remember that. Tell that to all your friends. If you plan on having uh, DTF as your primary source of income, make sure you have more than one, right? Like my setup right now, as of on Friday, when I'm gonna I'm gonna say when because it's gonna it's gonna be functional again. When the big boy is back up and running, this is gonna be the perfect complement. Not too big, not too big boys because um, the amount of orders that I get in don't call for having two big ones yet, but I'm hoping to be up to that business. But um, it's the perfect complement. Smaller orders here, big orders over here. Gang sheets over here, small orders over here. So I can't wait to, 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 to get that up and running. But in the meantime, guys, while this, I'm putting this to its paces, I still have the $4 DTF deal going on. So if you want any DTFs from me, now is your time to put in your order for those single transfers. Um, well, it wouldn't be worth it for you to order one transfer because you gotta pay for shipping and stuff. By the time you pay for shipping, it costs more than the transfer, obviously. So make sure you're putting in a significant order so it's worth paying the shipping, right? So, but right now, Go to allenaway.com and put in your order for DTF transfer by size. Select the size that you want, upload the image that you want. If you got multiple images, you know, you select the size, select the size that you want, upload the image, right? Then you do this, repeat the process for the next image, repeat the process for the next image, and boom, place your orders. I'll get your orders and I'm knocking them out as fast as possible. Because come Friday, come Friday, come Friday, we are not gonna have those inexpensive prices anymore, not the $4 DTF transfer prices. We're going to level up, we're gonna be doing some new and interesting things. We're still gonna have some deals for you. I'm gonna wait till that is up and running to announce the super, super deals that I'm gonna have for you guys. It's gonna be super deals, not gonna be regular little $4 deals. It's gonna be like extreme savings um, for businesses, right? Um, we're gonna have those types of deals that, yeah, for, for, you know, so stay tuned for that. I can't wait to um, give you guys some huge deep discounts on some DTF transfers. But first we gotta make sure that that's up and running. So everything is pending on the second, the big boy being up and running. So once that's up and running, the $4 deals on the DTF transfers will be over guys. So. Oh, once again, I'm going to say it. Um, I interviewed my friends, brought them on the channel, and you saw that there's, there are two pros were running. And those two people that I interviewed, there are two pros are still running. So salute to them. Um, I'm glad you guys didn't have my luck. And some of you guys watching, you guys have the R2 Pro, and it's been running the whole time. Some of you guys that are watching have had the Revel 24 2T and didn't have the issues that I'm having. So, um... Kudos to you. I hope you guys never go through anything, but it just so happened that in this instance, I got the short end of the sticks. And guys, you've been watching for a while, right? I've had the 8.3 Plus R. I've had two of them. I've had the Uninet DTF 1000, right? R2 Pro, two of them. Revel 24 2T. I think out of everybody on YouTube, I have the most experience with DTF printers because I've had so many different ones. Out of, let me say that again, out of everybody that makes videos about DTF printers on YouTube, I am probably the influencer or the person making videos that's had the most variety of different printers. I've had two A3 Plus R's, I've had two R2 Pros, I've had the DTF 1000 by Uninet, and I've and I now and I have the uh, Revel 24 2T. Who do you watch on on YouTube that's had that's had more DTF printers than me? I wait. Nobody. So out of everybody that you watch, I think that you need to be taking my advice. So, like I said, it's not a matter of if your DTF printer is going to go down. It's a matter of when your DTF printer is going to go down. So if I'm going to say it one last time. If you plan on having a DTF business where your full-time income depends on that specific business and you printing DTFs, you must budget to have more than one printer or you will be setting yourself up for failure. All right? So um, if you're in the market to buy uh, R2 Pro, use my All-American Print Supply Co. 
link in the description down below and start your business off with it it's a solid machine all my friends have them and they've been working it just so happens that occasionally just like anything else occasionally you'll get a bad unit but like i said before anything worth having any business that's worth growing any business that is going to be successful comes with hurdles that you have to jump over and if you're not willing to jump over those hurdles then you're not willing to do what it takes to have a successful business because even if it's not garment printing, no matter what business you go into, you are going to have issues. There's going to be something that breaks. There's going to be something that goes wrong. It's just a matter of are you going to see it through or are you going to tap out and quit? All right. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you see it. Put your orders in right now. $4 DTF transfers until Friday. And I'll see you guys later. I'll give you an update. I'll probably make a video on Friday with the stuff, but I'm, I'm definitely going to learn a lot to become a technician and know how to, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.